Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz, and I'm going vegan while doing things a little extra each time. Today, I'm hitting you with the Chickies and Pete's Vegan Crab Fries. We're going to start with half a tablespoon of butter in our pan, to which we're going to add about a quarter cup of sliced or just like thinly pulled and shredded oyster mushrooms. These are going to be our mock crab for the ultimate crab fries version. Like I said, we do a little extra here. So while those are browning and getting crisp, get your fries in the air fryer. 400 degrees for about 15 or 10 to 15 minutes, depending if you preheat it. And then you will get this golden crust on your mushrooms. That is what you want. Looks like nice buttered lump crab meat. So while that you can set aside, we're gonna start with some four slices of chow creamy original. The chickies and peats sauce that's served with crab fries is basically watered down American cheese. So we're gonna recreate that vegan style. And the chow creamy originals are a great place to start. First of all, they've already got like, you know, that whiter color because the chickies and peat sauce is white. And then they have a very mild flavor here. That's the closest to American that I can find for vegan cheese. So you wanna put it into a microwave safe dish and then you're going to add teaspoons of water and I'm using oat-based creamer. You could just use an oat milk or any other nut milk, I'm sure. And then just microwave it for 30 seconds at a time. Stir it, you'll see after the first round, it gets clumpy. And then we wanna just keep reiterating this process. So I'm going to add more water and full you know, instructions will be in the description box below for how much I added. But again, this is gonna vary if you're not gonna use four things of cheese and you're gonna use more slices, you know, switch it up for yourself. But to get to that tang, we are adding teaspoons of veganaise at a time. That is what's gonna give that like tangy, but like creamy American cheese flavor. And it's gonna give the chow cheese like a little oomph behind it. Um, it's just what ties this sauce all together. But again, we need to repeat that process of adding water. We don't have to add any more milk at this point because that's gonna further uh, kind of like throw off and like potentially sweeten the flavor since at least what I was using oat milk has some sweetness to it. So we don't wanna do that. We just wanna either keep adding the water and then a little bit more veganaise to keep up the creaminess and thin it. And then once you get that desired consistency, we can take our nice hot fries out of the air fryer and toss them in some old hay. Now, Chickies and Pete says that they use some kind of like proprietary blend of like, I don't know, 13 spices or whatever it is. It's essentially old bay. That's what's gonna give us like that like saltiness, but also just like a little bit of spice. And then the cheese sauce is what's our like creamy, salty component. So it's just like, a great punch when it's all put together. And that's why these are like addictive, like total crack fries, crack crab fries. <laughs> and yeah, and don't think I forgot about that crab meat. We are throwing it on at the end here. Again, this is like what they would do for their like ultimate version. They actually throw actual crab meat on it, but you don't need it. I just wanted to do a little extra. Basic crab fries are just the G sauce and your Old Bay fries. And just look at this creaminess like just look at this sauce oh, so good i hope you guys enjoy this please let me know if you make it and i'll see you all next time